Right, welcome back to our channel. So we are dealing with a, an open API that's going to have 22 districts and in each district there's a constituency, sub-counties and thereby we go to parishes, then we'll go all the way down till we get to the villages that we do have. Now this can be quickly be shared by having what will be having a custom post type that has a village and this village is classified under a district and the district is classified under a sub-county and then we'll have a sub-county then a parish and the sub-parish which eventually gives us a village. So <clears throat> at the end of the day we'll be able to expose districts, counties alone and we can separate the concern by having this but WordPress by default gives us this a possibility to categorize uh, the different things that we're going to be working with. So I'll quickly jump into um, our editor and we're going to be using our taxonomy. Uh, we're going to start afresh from here if we reload. So we have our new village and we are now ready to add a taxonomy. So I'm going to go to, if you look up this functionality of uh, register taxonomy on the codex of WordPress, um, you'll find that you, you have all the information that's needed here for you to understand what it's all about. So you'll find out the different post types that are registered by WordPress by default, the labels that are needed. Um, we are going to look at the example that we are given of how to register um, a taxonomy and I'll just copy all this code and paste it here. Then I'll explain what it's all about. Then I'll just move this uh, add function to the bottom here so that uh, the, the, the PHP will read the add action after having processed this functionality. So we have a function here which we shall call create village taxonomy and basically what's, what's happening is whenever we go into our WordPress and initialize it we run this function called our create village uh, taxonomy. And what it will do is that it will register a taxonomy whose name is a, a district and it's attached to a custom post type called villages and then it has a label meaning that its name will be district and a slug of district. So when I save this I am able to actually go into my village and refresh and we'll see that we have a new district here and previously I had set some some districts in here like Gulu and Kampala that's why you're seeing this information showing up here and if actually you can attach a number of other categories like you see how we have this I'll just open this up for our preview but if we decided to say that we're going to change this to be attached to the posts post type for reload our post type, we'll see that we have the district categorization here and it's no longer with our villages but it's attached to the posts. So that's why the, the particular uh, custom post type name is very important. So for us to create all the other uh, categorizations that we do need, we're just going to copy this over and then we'll change <coughs> what needs to be. So we're going to change the district and then we're going to change this to county. I'll just put this in our case. And then uh, I'll have this particular label in uppercase. So these marks that we see here help us change languages. Let's say we've written this in English and then we can actually internal nationalize it to French or German uh, by using these marks here. You can read about them in uh, I18N on the WordPress uh, codex. And then we're going to go for these other ones. We have our five taxonomies that are registered. And if we reload right here, so in our custom post time we find we have the district, county, sub-county, parishes, and sub-parish ready for us. And if you look here on the side, you'll see that these are available. So what I'm going to do is uh, I can actually drag them in order so that when someone is feeding in the information, they are not lost. So I'll just move this down to just above parish. Then I can always uh, send the publish up, up or at the bottom so that someone only clicks publish after they're filled in 
this information. So I'll just move the sub count also up so that it is in position when someone is inputting all that information. So we are ready to start taking in our information and we are ready to actually push it out our front end or we can be now ready to push it to our custom endpoint. Um, any one of us can actually put information on this so uh, I'll be looking forward to adding that. So by now you should have realized that we have the same thing that it is that is repetitively coming up. So what I'm going to do is try to refactor all this code so that we have something that's a little neat. So I'm going to save our taxonomies in a variable called tax and then I'll create an array of this. So in our array we're going to have our names that we do want. So we want to have a district, then we want to have a county, we want to have a sub-county, then we want to have a parish, Parish. Those are the five pieces that we do need. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to wrap them under a for each loop and I'll say for each tax as a taxonomy I'm going to loop over and say register one taxonomy. So I'm just going to get one of these and then I'll get rid of all the others. So in here I'm going to place our register taxonomy so the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, get the taxonomy here registered and then I'll also just register this as taxonomy and allow for space. Of course uh, um, internationalization only allows directly added uh, values. So once we're done with this we're going to go and reload in our browser and when we reload in our browser we actually find that uh, we don't have any issues in our particular categories uh, using the taxonomies apart from having this in lowercase and then we have an underscore. So I would like to have both uh, words in uppercase so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a, a PHP uh, functionality which is called a uh, string replace and basically it's going to search our taxonomy that we've stored in the variable and it's going to it requires three arguments so uh, the first argument is what you're looking to replace which is an underscore and then what we'll replace is, is with a space so I put a space here and finally the string where we want this to be done so if I save this and just go back and review uh, we'll see that that string uh, we have that space coming in and no longer have the underscore coming in but when we look at the bottom of uh, right here at the bottom we'll see when we look at that URL we find that uh, the taxonomy part has its underscore however the label here is clean so what we need to do is also make it uppercase so what we're going to do is use also again um, a PHP uh, function uh, uppercase this one will get the first letter of the word and will make it into uppercase so we have this all coming out on reload but we still need both of them so what I'll do is instead of using uppercase, uppercase you see first I'll use a you see words which will get the first letter of each word and then make it uppercase so we have what we wanted actually in here so the, the only thing that uh, now is still uh, probably a pain point is that when we go in the districts or in the counter itself we see this is changing well but however this word category is still here we still have parent category we still have categories in here which can be a bit confusing for the people entering our data so we're going to go to our custom post types because the labels that are needed are similar so we'll just pick the labels and we're going to come and drop them in our for each loop. The next thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to pick our, our label that we had worked out very well and we're going to store it into our variable with the name uh, of name and then we'll just terminate that 
and what we'll do next is replace all our plural name variables with a variable name and then also get all the singular name variables and also turn them into name. So we're going to change our label also into labels and when we refresh and reload the page we see that we have an error. We are receiving an array of information and yet this particular label only accept only one item. Uh, however, if we want it to be an array, we'd have to change this to labels. So on reload, we realize that everything is fine. We have county in the places it should be apart from uh, the parent category. So what we need to do is change that. When we go back into our code, we realize that uh, it should be parent item instead of parent. So when we save that and refresh and reload, we'll see that parent count is actually our new label. This is what we needed to have all our taxonomies ready. So we are going to be able to put our information in our villages and then we'll start querying it and then sending it onto our API endpoint. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or oh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe so that you don't miss any updates that will be coming on this channel. We shall be doing more work and we shall be able to open sourcing this particular project for any person to use. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.